Yo, what is up, YouTube? No Zone here, and today I'm going to be telling y'all what I think of the newest film in the Rocky franchise, Creed 3. And this film follows Adonis Creed after the events of Creed 2, where he is on top of the world in boxing, thriving in his career, and focusing on his family life. And all of these things lead him to wanting to retire while he's at the top. But that is cut short when Damien, a friend from Adonis's past and former boxer, comes back into his life after being in prison. And he is eager to prove that he deserves a shot in the ring. This forces Adonis to put everything that he's worked for on the line to battle Damien, a boxer who has nothing to lose. But that's basically the rundown of the film before I get into what I think of it. This will be a spoiler free review, starting with what I wanted going into Creed 3. First, I wanted to see how the absence of Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa would affect the story, because this is the first film in the entire Rocky franchise that he has not been a part of at all. And mind you, we're on the ninth film in the franchise so far. Next, I wanted to see how Michael B. Jordan would handle his first time in the director's chair and what new stylistic choices he would bring to the table, especially after he said in an interview that anime would inspire the fights. And that alone made me very excited to see see his direction for them. But lastly, I wanted Jonathan Majors to absolutely kill it with his performance in this film. Just because he is one of my favorite actors working right now, and he just got done carrying Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania just last month with his performance as Kane the Conqueror, of course. So I had some pretty high expectations for him in this film. But moving on to the things that I liked about Creed 3 after watching it, and the first thing would definitely be the story. Because I felt like the Kugula Brothers did a great job tying in someone from Adonis's past, with that character being Jonathan Majors' dame, and ended up making him a great new villain even though we haven't seen or heard mention of him before this film. Which is a huge change of pace from Creed 2, which had the huge Rocky IV tie-in. Next, I really liked Michael B. Jordan's directing and stylistic choices. I had some high expectations going in for him, and he still managed to surpass them. There were just so many things that he did with the final boxing match that were just so cool and unique to me, especially in a franchise where the final boxing matches start to feel repetitive after a while. He also decided to use his background as an anime fan to its fullest potential, and that's all I can really say about that without giving any spoilers. But overall, Michael B. Jordan really managed to set Creed 3 apart from the previous films with those directing decisions. Next, I thought that the cinematography was pretty well done. Most of the shots are just really cool to look at, especially during the training montage. And another shot that I won't spoil, but it involves a locker room so if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Next, I really enjoyed the acting in Creed 3, with the absolute standout being Jonathan Majors' dame. He literally steals every single scene that he's a part of, and the drama between his character and Adonis had me questioning what side I was even rooting for at times. Michael B. Jordan also does great as Adonis, as always. He really grew much more into being his own person with the absence of Rocky Balboa in this film, and I think that's mostly due to him being a father now. And I absolutely loved his relationship with his daughter, Amara. Tessa Thompson as Bianca also gets more interesting things to do in this film, especially comparing it to her role in Creed 2, which was just a case of being sidelined, to be honest. I still think she's been great in all three of the movies. Next, I like the music and sound. And good music is always a given in any of the films in the Rocky franchise, but the sounds of the punches specifically in Creed 3 were impeccable. Like, I felt like I was getting hit by them at some points in the final fight. Now, that might just be depending on what sound system you see it on, like the more premium viewing experiences like IMAX, GPX, 40X, but that was just my personal experience watching it. And as a side note, the person I was watching it with said they heard spit go by their ear. Now I didn't hear it, but there's that detail to sit with. But moving on to the things that I felt mixed about in Creed 3, and the only thing I'm really mixed on are just some elements of the story. And I know that I said that the story was a positive for me, but there's just one thing that bothered me about it. And it was that it was very predictable at times. More so on the big plot points than the smaller ones though, which is why it's in both the positive and the mixed section of the review. But moving on to the things that I did not like about Creed 3, and my only real negative is the film's pacing, because it feels pretty rushed due to it being only two hours long. And I know that's closer in length to all of the Rocky films, but I feel like this Creed film specifically would have benefited the most from being closer to two and a half hours. Just so that we could sit with the conflict between the two fighters for a little bit longer, especially Dame's character, so that it felt more significant. But now to get to my final thoughts on Creed 3. And I think this film is great. It's my second favorite in the Creed franchise, and it's pretty high up there in the overall Rocky franchise as well. Michael B. Jordan's first time directing brings a fresh and unique spin to all of the fights. Jonathan Majors owns every single scene that he's in, and I think that they killed it with the drama between Dame and Adonis. But I think this film suffers the most from its pacing, which leads me to my overall scoring of Creed 3. And I give the story a 3.5 out of 5, the acting a 4.5 out of 5, the direction a 4 out of 5, the visuals a 4 out of 5, the music and sound a 4.5 out of 5, the pacing a 2 out of 5, the emotional value a 4 out of 5, the casual score a 5 out of 5, and the critic score a 4 out of 5. So with all of that, it averages out to my final score of Creed 3, 4 out of 5 stars. But anyways, if you enjoyed my review, make sure you leave a like on the video, it really helps out the channel a lot. Make sure you share the video with a friend if you think they would enjoy it as well. Leave a comment with your thoughts on Creed 3. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Nozone. And as always guys, it's been Nozone. Peace.